Well, hello, writers and everybody else. I know it's been a while since I've posted and people haven't seen much of me. They've wondered what has happened to Lucas. So I'm riding my bike out of Egertown. I see this SUV, this white SUV, sweet looking. I was like, I can draft that. What happens is um, drafting the SUV, he's accelerating gradually 30, 35, 40, 45 miles an hour. I feel this pop in my chest and um, I thought it was like something I ate, some gas paint or something like that. I wasn't really sure. And so we come into Oak Bluffs and we come into Ocean Park and I do my signature um, peel off of the car, kind of a salute to him, you know, thanking him for the draft. He smiles. Um, and then uh, what happens is I uh, do my bunny hop up onto the park and uh, I take a cold water swim. Um, we're on the water there and uh, I love swimming in the ocean there. So um, I get out of the ocean, you know, figuring, okay, the cold water is going to surely help me. Uh, the abdomen pain is a little worse. So, um, you know, I said to my dad, uh, I have this pain. And he says, well, let's call mom, you know, and let's ask her to get some um, ginger beer while she's shopping. Okay, ginger beer, you know, will probably cure this fine. Okay, so we call her and she's going to be home in a bit. All right, well, let's, you know, play some chess. So anyways, we're playing. Uh, I'm castling into check and I'm advancing my pawns and synchronicity, you know, doing moves like the Russian military would do, just really stupid. And um, he's looking at me, you know, and he's beating me and he's like, wow, uh, are you sure you're okay? And I said, yeah, I'm okay, let's, you know, next game, let's play, let's play, you know, so, um, you know, don't disrupt my tempo, my focus. Uh, so we're playing and uh, um, I keep screwing up the game and uh, I'm seeing stars, I'm actually in a lot of pain but the game is keeping my mind off of this pain, but then I'm feeling lightheaded. And then I feel like a sharp pain in my shoulder. And he looks at me and he says, uh, you should look at yourself in the uh, mirror. And uh, I'm like, all right. So I get up and I almost pass out when I get up. Like, what the heck was that? And I'm walking funny. I, w I look over at myself in the mirror. I'm white, like, like, I mean, <laughs> like a ghost. So, like, like that sky white right now, like heavenly white. We're driving over to the hospital and, um, and I'm seeing more stars and I'm seeing more snow. And then, um, you know, he's looking at me and he's like, just, you know, stay with me. I mean, this is, you know, my dad. He's just looking at me in this condition. I was like, holy shit. He says, no, we're, we're at the hospital. And then, um, so I guess I black out. And um, now, like, I, I'm in a dream. So in the dream, I jump off the bridge. And um, as soon as I hit the water, I said, wow, this is just beautiful ocean water. And my muscles are inflamed. And, you know, I'm feeling really good swimming. And I start swimming deeper. And... Um, so, it's getting lighter, um, yeah, and it was like the most beautiful swim. It was, the water was getting warmer and it was getting lighter and there was coral reefs and there was current that was taking me down further um, in the ocean. And what happens is, <laughs> I was like, holy shit, we're deep. There's like caves and stuff and I'm going in and out of them. And the current is just taking me deeper and the ocean is getting, th th there's actually more light. And I'm like, oh my God, like I wish like every swim felt this good. It was the most amazing dive. And there's fish like that are swimming up and they're actually like looking up at me and they're like not surprised to see me now. And they're not afraid. And I'm like, oh wow. And so um, th it was the coolest experience, the coolest dive ever thousands of swims I've done. Um, the water was just the right temperature. And I'm wishing it would just last forever. And it's just getting lighter. And then um, I look over and so there's, there's this diver there. And uh, he's like, he looks at me and he says, oh, um, he, he points to his gauge. He shows me his gauge and I'm like, holy fuck, like you're out of air. And, 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 uh, 
And, and I said, oh, you know, I, I want your regulator. I need, you know, air. And he's like, no. And then, like, I breathe in, and I breathe water in. And then I look around, and he's gone. And then I look up, and then um, I see the top. I see the water, like, hundreds of feet away from me. And so I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to get up there. So then... Um, like, I start choking, just, I, and I know from scuba diving, you know, hundreds of feet, you can't, let alone, like, you, you would die. Well, anyway, <laughs> um, so I guess I wake up, and, like, this nurse has this death grip on me. She's looking over at me, and she's, she's down at me, and she's got this grip. She's gripping my body, and she's, you know, I need to, you to stop moving around. I need you to stop, you know, stay still, stop, you know. You have an IV in you, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I said, where the heck am I? And she says, you're at Martha's Vineyard Hospital. And I said, oh my God, I'm in heaven. They gave me a CT scan. The surgeon comes into the room and um, he looks at me and he says, um, okay, so we don't have platelets here. You need platelets. Um, and uh, we don't have the staff if something, like if you, you know, something really bad happens to you. So you're gonna, we're gonna medvac you. So you're gonna get a helicopter up to Boston. I made it through the night. Oh, I got a lacerated spleen. I don't know how the heck that even happened considering that I haven't had any accidents, any trauma. I mean, knock on wood, I haven't had an uh, accident or crash for years. Anyway, here I am, Tufts Medical in Boston while the morning rush goes on. So anyway, uh, the doctor comes back and he says to me, you got Lyme disease. So, um, yes, you're hearing it first, everybody, for the first time. I'm going to tell you why this is so weird. Lucas Brunel got taken out by a fucking tick. I got a tick bite. I got Lyme disease. And I got taken out. The worst injury ever by far in my life i go multiple seasons no injuries no crashes it's a virus it inflames your organs so um what happens is if you pump blood fast through an organ that's inflamed and put that much stress on it it can explode so my spleen exploded poof all right, that's quite a all right that's quite a chopper ride from martha's vineyard to building top here in boston it sounds like the helicopter's leaving Anyway, this is the room, the intensive care unit, with the view. I wish I was out there in the city traffic, but I'm not. And this depends. This is a um, time to tell you, you know, you never know when something's going to happen. So, uh, lacerated spleen. Unbelievable. Anyways, I'm kind of out of it. But, uh, I shall recover from this as well. My favorite word is resilience. So I'm going to uh, get some shut eye and um, yeah, wake up here in intensive care tomorrow. Good night. I am out of here. So this has been where I have been for the last few days. This is the view. Oh, not the view I'm used to. Everything's gray here. Can't wait to get out of here. Can't wait to get out of Boston as well. Anyways, life is a series of hellos and goodbyes, and I guess it's time for goodbye again. So get packed up, and uh, away we go.
I decided almost a month out from my spleen rupture to take a ride. Super chill. I know this is out of character for me just to take a ride on one of these bikes. Usually I'm jumping it off a dock or some crazy thing. Just taking a ride out here and um, just not pushing it at all. But one of the things that I realized about this is the fact that someday, decades from now, I'm going to be like this again. I'm going to be going these slow speeds on a really stable bike like this. And um, when I get a lot older, this will revisit me. So let's enjoy our youth, eat ultra healthy, heal, and uh, I'm gonna go back for a snack. All right. Watch in my upcoming videos, uh, me strengthen, ride faster, and recover. And so with that, live fast, ride fast, and uh, yeah, die last.